We're in a 519 die cast. Got my weekend haul, and there ain't nothing out there. I got a few new Hot Wheels. I got some old Hot Wheels. Uh, green light. Uh, Mini GT. I got no M2s at all this weekend. There's nothing out there. It's very, very grim. But I did talk to a lot of people, and uh, people are starting to switch over to these Mini GTs and uh, Tarmac and stuff like that and Pop Race. It's kind of interesting out there talking to some of these people but to start out with here we got the uh, mini gt this is a lamborghini aventador and it says it's a limited edition done in black red and yellow again rubber mirrors break off easy it's a shame that they're so brittle you got to be very very careful with these things but anyways this is awesome very cool looking car lots of detail lots of graphics I like it. It is pretty sharp. I don't know what else you can say about Mini GT. Like they're just knocking the stuff out of the park. I, I don't know. I like this stuff. Of course, there's no moving parts or anything, so we're gonna take a little better look at it maybe here. There's the front. Looks pretty good, eh? That is awesome. Very nice, lots of detail. Even on the interior, you can see there's a little bit of detail in there. The cider. And very cool. Very, very cool stuff. Back of her. Now, I got a lot of this Mini GT on its way, so we're going to see a lot more of it on this channel, that's for sure. Very nice. Just awesome. So, yeah, if you get a chance, you really think you should pick one of these up just to look at it and see what you think, because I think the ones that have done this, picked them up, they're starting to shy away from Hot Wheels and stuff, so yeah, it's different. It's really different out there when I'm talking to guys. They're going to this stuff. And the next one we got here, another Mini GT. This is the Porsche 911 GT2 RS, done in black. It's got carbon fiber on it. Oh, the thing is gorgeous. Gold wheels. I like this one. This is very very sharp another fantastic job from mini gt so much nicer when you can see them out of the package i don't know if that's a chip nope it's not a chip but uh in the package it's really hard to see of course i can't see well anyways but it's so much nicer when they're out the package and of course they come with a little box to put them back in so they're they are protected you're not gonna have any problems damaging them once they're out because you can put them back in the little box or put them in display but these things are just unreal just beauty did a fantastic job with these there's the carbon fiber again rubber mirrors yeah that is some nice stuff lots of detail and these do roll there's the interior, what you can see in there. Like it is detailed. Very cool stuff. Very, very nice. It's the back of her. Oop. There's the side again. Again, very, very cool. And then on the spoiler, it's got Porsche right there and the carbon fiber. Just awesome. Just so nice. Alrighty, put that down. And then I said last week I was going to get the Hot Wheels 2-pack and open it up. And I did find one. This is the Bugatti Veyron. Again, looks pretty good. They did a nice job. You know, it's it's Hot Wheels. It's uh, It looks good. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's got some nice wheels on her. Awesome. I like this car. It's so hard to see these ones in the package. That's why I'm putting them on the turntable. I was kind of excited to find this one because I had it last week in the package and I found one, another one. So I opened her up for you. And that's it. Again, nice job. You know, it's got the carbon fiber. It's not quite as detailed as like the Mini GT, but you know, it's Hot Wheels and it looks pretty good. Not bad at all. It's some really nice wheels on her. And it does have some detail in it. Like they're, they're stepping up their game a little bit, I guess, on this stuff. On the premium side. There's the back. 
Not bad. Not bad. Lots of carbon fiber. There's the engine. Nice. There's the side of her. Good looking car. I like these cars. I guess a million dollar car. I guess can't not like it I suppose. You know at first I didn't care for the looks of them but they kind of grow on you that's for sure. And the next one is another one of the Bugatti. This is out of the two pack. I don't even know how to say the last part of it. It's a 2016 I guess Bugatti. It's done in black and gray and again very nice. Pretty much it, they are, it is different casting for sure but it is different. I don't mind it though. Don't mind that at all. A little bit of detail to it. Yeah, I think the black one, the Veyron, is a nicer. This is kind of like the first ones that I've ever seen with that round piece in it. So yeah, that's still a pretty cool car. Like I said, I didn't care for them when they first come out. And this is the style I seen the first time when I seen them. And uh, yeah, it's a little different. Like I said, it grows on you a little bit. Back of her. Looks good. Not a bad job. There's a top. It doesn't look bad. It's Hot Wheels. I've got one, I believe, in the Mini GT. I think I showed already. I'm not sure. I have to look, but uh, I probably got one or two on order. So maybe we'll just put the two side by side and see what they look like together. Oh. And then the next one I got, I opened up a couple um, uh, green light because I like this car. I think that's awesome. 1964 Chevy Impala SS done in the golf livery. I like it. I think that thing is just cool. And this is from the Running on Empty series. And uh, it looks good. Awesome. And then by looks of it, the hood opens. Like I said, I just opened these, so I hadn't had a chance to really look at them. But we're going to see if that hood opens on this one. Let's see what happens. This, there's the hood. There's the engine bay. Right there. Not too bad. And of course, 425 horse. Golf. Not bad. You know, green light. Looks all right. It's not under new ownership. This is not one that he had done, the new owner, but uh, we'll see what he comes up with next on these things. These are nice. I like it. Looks good. Looks really good. Golf livery. It's got the blue lines on the wheels, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so that's the Impala. And I said last week I was going to open up a green machine, and I did. There she is. This is from the Hot Pursuit series, the 1990 Ford Mustang SSP. And it sits on an angle, not quite sitting level, that's for sure. But it is what it is. It is a green machine. It's something a little different. I, I've got a couple of these ones. That's why I opened her up, just to show you. This is the first green machine I've ever opened. So it's a new one for me, I guess. It's not bad. It's got quite a stance. It's not quite right in the stance, that's for sure. But it is what it is. And it looks like the hood opens on this one too as well. It does. Not great, but it does open. And there's the engine bay. Right there. 5 liter Mustang. Yeah. Not bad. Gray interior. It's, uh, it's cute, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. A little different. You know, they got uh, they got some work to do to this casting, I think. But it looks all right. Not too bad. And there's a the green base, of course. Being a green machine. Yeah. Not bad. Don't mind that. And then I opened up a Hot Wheels because I didn't have this one open yet, so I thought I'd open it, and it likes to move. It likes to roll. And this is the Mystery Machine from uh, the Warner Brothers 100 series, I guess it would be. Uh, that was pretty cool. I like the windshield. I like how they did the decal in the windshield there. It's pretty cool. It's different than all the other ones I have. Uh, it looks good. 
not bad at all and this one here was always the one missing when you went to find the set everybody took this car or this van I guess it is very hard to get but I did get one and there she is so I guess I better put this stuff away and we'll get into the carded stuff so while you're waiting go ahead and hit that like and subscribe I'll be right back I'm back and uh, I'm going to show you the ones that I just showed on the turntable in their packages so you know what to look for if you're out there looking for them. And the first one is the Mini GT. This is the uh, Lamborghini Aventador. This is what the package looks like. And of course there's a the little box it comes with so yeah you can take it out and put it in the package. And this is the Porsche right there 911 GT2 RS in black. Very cool car. Yeah that's the packaging that it came in and of course your two-pack premium right there that's the Bugatti set and that's the name of the other car right there you can read that uh, and then this is the running on empty 64 Chevy Impala so that's that package and then the hot pursuit this is the green machine right there 1990 Mustang and then, of course, the one that everybody took is this one here. It's the Mystery Machine. So that is pretty cool. We're having a problem with, uh, we just got a whole bunch of, uh, oh, what were they? the Forza. And they, lots of them. And somebody took all the yellow Porsches out of them. So there's not even a set there now. So that's kind of crazy. So to start out with the carded stuff, we got the Hitch and Tow. And thanks to Paul, he found this for me. This is a... 2023 Ram 2500 with small cargo trailer and it's got golf right there which is pretty cool I was looking at this and uh, again these are hard to see in the package but the wheel wells are just huge I think that this uh, tires are too small on this way too small like the I don't know if what happened there it should be a lot larger tire the tires are just way too small for this truck but other than that it's not bad it's a green machine so of course that's why I got it again like I said it's really hard to see them in the package but uh, yeah there's the green base on the bottom green machine but yeah if you're out in the boat take a look and see the size of those wheels they're just tiny compared to the truck they don't fit that truck at all and there's the trailer awesome little trailer of course, it's got the green tongue on it there, so it's a green machine, there's green wheels, and the base is green, or part of the base is green, I guess. Yeah, that's a cool little trailer. I don't believe I have a trailer that small. I think that's the first one there. So I wouldn't mind finding probably the original one to this, just to uh, have the little trailer out. That's pretty cool. Not bad. So that's the uh, only green light I got. And I got some older Hot Wheels. And this is Hot Wheel Racing. This is 2012 stock car and a 1940 Ford Coupe. Now, the blister's broken a bit, but it don't matter. I think it looks pretty cool. It's still got the original packaging, so I'm happy with that. It's got the card art. That's what I like about these. This is a card art, metal base on them. It's a cool looking thing. This is the first one I've found. I actually didn't find it. Paul had it in his collection, and of course I got it from him. But yeah, it's all right. I wouldn't mind finding the rest of these. There's a list of the cars on the back there. I don't know if you read it or not. But yeah, it looks like it's probably a pretty cool set. I have to do some research, see if I can find that set, because I think that's pretty cool. Another cool one I got is the Snickers Angula Panel Truck, which is pretty cool. Another set that I'm going to have to work on trying to get. Again, this one here, the hood opens on it. It's, it's kind of unique. I didn't know the hood opened on these ones. Until after I got it home, I was looking at it. And it's like, the hood opens on that. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, I got Snickers. And there's the rest of them on the back. Now, I did see the Dove, and I didn't pick it up because, well, I didn't see any other ones. And I skipped that one, and now I've got this one, so now i got to try and find the rest. 
kind of crazy, but well, we'll see. Maybe I'll find them. I don't know. <clears throat> and then another set, 1985 Chevy Astro van. Uh, Mike, Mike and Ike right there. Pretty colorful, kind of a cool casting. I like it. I think that's pretty cool. Again, another series that I'm going to have to try and find. I've got a few of these premium sets that I'm working on. And I just added two more different ones. i got to stop that. There's the back. And I think <clears throat> these are going to be pretty hard to find, these ones here. Especially that transport. Right there, the hot tamales or something on it. I'm not sure what it says. But yeah. That's a cool looking set. But I'm going to see what happens. See if we can find it. <clears throat> and I did find the last one to my set right here. 33 Willys with a Speed Whiz. Awesome. Absolutely love it. There's the uh, 33 Willys right there. And again, I wouldn't mind another one of these just to open because that is just awesome. I like this. Now the last time the transport come out, I believe, it had the boat on it. So uh, it's kind of a cool casting. I like that truck. I really do. And I've seen the Jay Leno set out there. And it's $44 for the set. And the only one that I'm interested in it is the Volkswagen truck, I believe it's, it is in that thing. And it's a flatbed. I think it's Volkswagen. Don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking it was. It's the only casting I don't have in that set. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind finding it. But I'm not paying $44 for just one vehicle in that set. Yeah, that's a cool truck. I like that truck. Awesome setup. I've managed to finish this set. Happy, happy, happy about that. And then I picked up some older stuff right here. And this is just called Dragster. And it's number four of four. These are older. I'm into the drag racing stuff and I thought these are just cool. I do have some of these. But I picked up a couple more that I didn't have. The paint on this one's pretty cool. It's like a mirrored uh, blue on it. Kind of cool. I like it. Different. These are definitely older. Tell by the card, I guess. Right there. Pretty cool. I like that. And then I picked up two more because they're different. Now, I do have one of these, but I wasn't sure which one. I think there's a few different variations of this car. But I just picked these ones up. And uh, this thing is pretty cool. No Fear Race Car. Right there. Number one. Now I showed this one here a long time ago. One of these. I don't know which one. I'll have to dig it out and see which one it is. But uh, yeah, there's some different variations on the the No Fear and stuff like that. And the number one, I believe. And the wheels. They're pretty cool. And this one here is a different version of it with the wheels. So different years, of course. Same paint scheme. Everything's the same. Just the wheels and the card is different. It's still pretty cool. Actually, Mini GT is making these Formula One cars, and I think I'm going to order a couple of them. I don't know the drivers, but I'm going to order them just to see what they're like. I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. And I did get a treasure hunt. <laughs> this one here has been out for a while, I guess, and I've never seen it, and I finally found it. Which is pretty cool. This is the Ain't Fair. World Tour, Hot Wheels World World Tour, pretty cool, so I got one, I didn't think I'd see it, because I missed this batch, but uh, there it was, sitting on the peg, so yeah, I got her, and then another set that I've had for a while, only two cars out of this set, and I got them all, except for number six, of course, this is the Porsche set from Hot Wheels, this is a 1971 Porsche 911, in orange awesome like this car nice casting of it pretty cool paint in this orange I like that color of course it's got their nice wheels they look proper for this car there's a the front of her a little light on the paint on the front but it's all right I got it I'm missing number six of course which is the Porsche 914 which is that one up there which I think everybody's missing that one. There's a few out there that's gotten it. But yeah, there's that one. And then we got the Porsche 356 Speedster. 
again, very cool looking car. I like it. It's an old Porsche and I like it. I think that is just cool. It's a cool casting of this car. The red interior looks good. I like it. Very cool. And of course, the cards aren't all that great on these. They're all a little bent. I didn't show the card art. There's the orange one. There's the white one. And then we have this. I'm not sure if I open one of these and put it on the turntable or not because I had it for so long. It's a 1998 Porsche 944 Turbo in black. Again, pretty cool. All right. And it does have the stethoscope in the back. Of course. Pretty cool. Rio's doctor. I guess it's... He put them in there for him. Riasada, I guess his name is. Designer, anyways, for Hot Wheels. And then we got the Porsche 935 in blue. And again, had this one for quite some time. Couldn't... Uh, couldn't get it the other one so yeah I finally got five out of six that's why I'm showing them all not a bad casting this one here people are leaving this one on the pegs uh, for sure lots of these ones out there probably should pick up one or two just to, or one of them anyways just to open them up put them on the turntable then we got the Porsche 718 Cayman uh, GT4 Again, pretty cool casting. This casting's been around for a little while now, but it's still pretty cool. Not bad at all. Done in red. Awesome. Very, very nice. So that's it for the Porsches. And then we got something a little different again. We got Women of the Fast, of Fast. And this is a Fast and Furious set, which they were all there. And, uh, I wanted to pick up a Ford GT out of this set to open up, and I, I forgot about it. I, I grabbed the wrong car. So there's this one here, Honda S2000. So I picked up two of these, and I don't know why, but I've already gotten rid of it. Give it away, so she's gone. So I got to look for that Ford GT, because I really like that GT40 in this set. This is... Uh, not bad. This one here, I think, is the one people are after, though. To me, eh, it's a car. I'm not sure. And the next one here, we got the Mazda RX-8 right there. And the scale is quite large. Actually, this one's got a broken blister in it. Oh, well. Look at that. Oh, well. Don't matter. It's not bad. Done in blue. It is quite large, this one. It barely fits in this package. Maybe that's why it's broken. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not bad. Different, for sure. I don't watch the Fast and Furious. I don't know anything about it. I watched the first one. And then I think the last one, and it was too uh, comic book series-like. So I didn't enjoy that one. <laughs> I know I'm going to upset a lot of the Fast and Furious guys, but I'm not a fan. But this one here is the Porsche... 718 Cayman GT4 again casting been around for a while it was in the Porsche set actually yeah, not bad I like it in the white looks good I guess I never really showed the card art the card art's not much to it but it is what it is this is my favorite one out of it right there the Ford GT40 and yeah, this is an older casting. It's been around for a long time. I have it lots of times, but I wouldn't mind getting another one of these just to open it. Put it around the turntable. Not bad. I like it. This is a favorite one for me. Right there. I think the wheels would be different. It'd be even nicer. But it is what it is. Cool casting. Love the car. Right there. Awesome. And then we got the custom Corvette Stingray Coupe right there in red, black interior. Not bad. Yeah, looks okay. And there's lots of Fast and Furious stuff out there. They're just beating this stuff to death. There you go. There's that one. Then I got an older set. It's not older. It's new. But uh, I've had it for so long. 
and I'm just getting to it now. It's a spring set. It's they're different. That's all I got to say. The different the car it's all the same on these, but they've got different cars. And I do have a lot. Like every year I get these, so I just well I'll just keep up with it. And this is a Fiat 500 done in this baby blue, kind of an orange interior. It's different. It's definitely different. It's colorful, spring-like, I guess you'd call it. There's the back of her. No detail, just the front or the sides there. Got some detail to it, but it is what it is. So that's number one of five. Number two of five is the Ford Escort RS 1600 done in this green. I like these wheels that they do now. I think they're pretty cool. A little different being in this yellow or green. I guess it's really a green, fluorescent green, I guess. You can see it says spring on the back quarter there. White interior. Not bad. There's no detail. You know, again, just on the side. And like I said, all the cards are the same. There's nothing to see about them, different about those. Number three, it's a Mini Cooper right there. The yellow and purple and the white wheels, it kind of all goes together pretty good. It's probably the nicer looking one out of the set, I think. With the paint scheme they got going on there with the black interior. It's not bad. I don't mind this one. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, there's not a lot of detail to them. And they are a premium. You know, they, they charge you a premium price pretty much. They're three, four dollars, I guess. Four dollars a piece. And then we got the Impreza right there with the pink interior and gray exterior. Not bad. It's got black wheels. It's got the normal wheels on it, which is different to the other ones. Right there. Not bad. You can say no detail. It's a spring set. And I got it, so yeah, why not? Keep up with it. And then we got the custom Volkswagen square back and purple with the yellow interior. It's not a bad color, this one. This purple on this is not bad at all. Not bad. Of course, there's a front, no detail or nothing like that, but it is what it is. And there's the back or yeah. So yeah, it's all the same card, whatever. But anyways, that's that, and I guess, if you like that, I guess you can go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated, and uh, be safe out there. Have fun. See ya!